Hi guys, welcome to my video blog again. Today I'm announcing a new project. Actually it will be an open hardware, open software project for you guys. And what's it going to be about? Well, it's something everybody who works with electronics needs. No, it's not multimeter, it's not soldering iron. Of course, it's the power supply. It's the benchtop laboratory power supply and so now you're asking what power supply am I actually going to be working on well I'm going to make a switchable to be positive or negative rail you're going to have a switch between these two modes uh, 50 volt single or 25 uh, blue plus 25 uh, minus 25 uh, double rail at 10 amps so yeah it will be a uh, digital AVR microcontroller controlled uh, with constant current mode so yeah now you're thinking ah, just another uh, power supply uh, we've seen many of these but I've I added uh, uh, some features like uh, I've decided I'll add a, a power meter showing power consumption in watts. I mean, it's a handy little feature. Also, uh, I decided to uh, implement some uh, current cutoff modes and stuff. Also, uh, uh, also this switching between single double double mode so uh, yeah and there is uh, one um, quite awesome thing I also added um, now if you think uh, this will be supplied for a uh, big devices and high current but actually I've implanted a uh, switchable shunt resistor and something I'm planting actually uh, how a uh, current measurement works is it works by uh, adding another small uh, resistance uh, resistor uh, before a uh, load and measuring voltage on it like I draw up there. So yeah, this is basically current measuring method. Uh, you can measure a current any other way actually. So yeah, that's what happens in your multimeters. So yeah, but if you got this very very small shunt you, for currents like I, I will use uh, up to 10 amps power supply so for that currents you, you need a shunt resistor with resistance like uh, 0.1 ohm why? because multiply it by 10 so we get the voltage wall and it's 1 volt and you don't really wanna have a high voltage fall on it uh, because it's going to uh, heat up more and also it's a waste power so yeah also uh, yeah if uh, if there is one volt at 10 amps that equals 10 watts uh, of power uh, on the resistor uh, but if we use a bigger shunt uh, resistor we gain more accuracy since uh, the ratio between the resistance of wires and uh, also uh, the accuracy of uh, measurement is uh, not uh, affected by uh, uh, small details like in so uh, if you use very small shunt like 0.1 uh, well then your measurement will be well not so accurate so uh, I'm implanting something I call a switchable shunt it's actually automatic mode uh, which switches between two shunt resistors uh, to yeah it's sim actually to one is for big currents f above one amp and one below one amp so when you this uh, precision mode uh, switches on um, you can measure uh, currents uh, quite precisely milliamps precisely maybe even uh, no, no, uh, it really depends uh, how uh, accurate you make it so yeah it's one great thing 
uh, so yeah how this will basically work is uh, I'm going to use uh, two shunt resistors one for uh, bigger loads and one for smaller like uh, one will be for up to 10 amps and one will be for 1 amp and once the uh, uh, microcontroller will automatically switch between these two shunt resistors piece of cake so I'll, I'll probably not use uh, standard relays for that since they're quite slow have slow switching times and stuff uh, but it's great thing to implant but also if you don't want to have troubles between uh, switching between these two you can also disable this feature and uh, only uh, have a big shunt on so yeah this will be actually on set this will be actually separate current and voltage measurement on uh, actually positive rail and on negative rail so it's a nice feature so hope you like uh, my design uh, I've already done some rough schematics and layout giving you a sneak peek so hope you like it so have fun uh, hope you enjoy my videos and that's it See you next time!